Uh, this has to do with that uh, Kim's convenience and uh, what about and I can exp so however they they, they they actually base this uh, off um, actually uh, play called uh, Kim's convenience the original uh, thing uh, uh, aware of uh, Korean Korean uh, family uh, running a convenience store in uh, Toronto uh, and uh, so uh, they uh, originally showed this in uh, this play in uh, Toronto and uh, and they will make they will make a lot of uh, yeah you know the, with the Korean cast and also uh, you know the black black uh, black man person uh, there was also uh, yeah, and a whole bunch of other uh, cast members uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it was well written, uh, and it was a, uh, it was a, uh, and it was a uh, to, uh, it was a sort of like a message to let people know uh, how uh, hard it is for, uh, especially Asians uh, who have run uh, convenience stores, uh, and uh, and I tell you, in real. Since uh, my family you know, runs the convenience store, uh, it uh, yeah, we barely get any breaks. Uh, there's going to be people who yeah, people have cussed at us. They have been like a like a yeah, swore at, swore at us and uh, like complained about like oh if I, oh you don't have this product oh like And then there, there, there was some time that where uh, people were trying to do robbery that did that. And then there was, and then one time, there was one time with a psychopath. So the only holidays you could ever actually get is uh, like, you know, like a Birthdays, maybe, or uh, or sometimes on uh, like uh, you know Christmas, uh, partially, partially New Year's, uh, and uh, Thanksgiving, uh, or yeah, it sucks. So apparently they made that. Uh, and some people uh, asked me if I wanted to be like a uh, take over like the family business, and I'm like, no, I do not want to be a convenience store owner. Like, why would I like well make choose to make myself a life of hell? Like, why would I do that? So apparently uh, they made a uh, Kim's Convenience uh, into a Netflix special. Uh, Created, created by Inza Choi and uh, guessing I'm guessing a Korean American uh, and uh, another and also another person uh, Kevin White uh, probably uh, I'm guessing he's uh, Caucasian. So. Uh, However, many uh, many uh, actors in that show uh, have been uh, complaining about like uh, so uh, let's uh, we'll focus on uh, Jean uh, Yoon uh, the. Uh, she called out a producer then uh overly race due to uh overly racist uh, storylines and stuff so this all started uh when uh Simu Liu uh 
I'm guessing this is the Chinese guy, judging by the last name. So uh, he went on uh, Facebook uh, doing a rant about... Uh, Oh, no. Oh, he's a Canadian. Oh, Canadian, uh, Korean. Oh, Korean. So, uh... So, uh, he, uh, com com complained about, like, uh, the, all the issues of, of on, uh, on set of... Then, uh, Jin Yoon, uh, she stepped in and, uh, sided with, uh, Simu Liu, the Facebook, uh, so, uh, so, uh, there was a person uh, named, uh, John Doyle, who, uh, from, a uh, Globe and Mail TV, uh, he, he's the critic, uh, the, so, uh, he, like, uh, he was, uh, talking about, uh, Simu Liu, the, uh, criticism, Crit he dissected it, so uh, he claimed it wasn't a fair fight to, since he was apparently deploying his fans against creators and producers of the show and uh, he characterized the Leo's uh, Facebook post that mean-spirited drive-by insults uh, so uh, due to some uh, posts that uh, he is a uh, so uh, I don't know why, but uh, he deactivated his Twitter account uh, since the posting, and so probably uh, to avoid uh, getting uh, attacked uh, by uh, people on Twitter for, you know, for trash talking, you know. So, uh, seemingly, uh, like, he, would, he had the right to talk about, like, how, like, you know, like, you know this problem, uh, and as a Korean, uh, Canadian, yeah, I would, I, and uh, I could definitely <laughs> see his point. So what she started, what Jin Yoon, uh, she started with, uh, she just said, uh, responded against uh, John Doyle, uh, saying uh, he uh, called uh, his comments against uh, Simu Liu uh, neither helpful or nor merited, and while uh, in in Detroit, who who uh, who the co-creator who the co-creator of, of the show, and also uh, Kevin White was also the other co-creator of the show. So uh, and uh, yeah, ran the show. So 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 if you look so if you look on her Twitter, so it says Jin Yoon and. Uh, so her Korean name is uh, Yoon Jin uh, Hye. Yeah. So dear sir, or as an Asian Canadian woman, so she's Canadian. So uh, so uh, and she said, uh, as an Asian Canadian woman with more. Uh, experience and knowledge of the world of my characters, the lack of Asian female, especially Korean writers in it, the writers uh, rooms of Kim uh, convenes and made it my life uh, very uh, difficult and the ex experience of uh, working on this show. Uh, so, that was the first tweet. So, uh, attached to that, it said, your attack on my castmate Simu Liu in the defense of my fellow Korean artist uh, in in Choi uh, is neither helpful nor merited. Mr. Choi wrote the play. I was then uh... oh, so he because uh, he's the original uh, guy uh, who. Uh, made the play uh, Kim's Convenience and if you've seen that play yeah
So if you did see that, like, yeah, hands off for you, hands off to you. So, uh, so, uh, and uh, she also uh, mentioned uh, how uh, Mr. Kevin White uh, was the showrunner and uh, clearly set the parameters, uh, and it, and it, and the third tweet, this is the fact that it was uh, concealed from us as a cast. It was uh, evident uh, from uh, Mr. Choi's uh, diminished uh, presence on scent or in response to script questions uh, between uh, S4 and Season 4 and Season 5. This uh, fact became a crisis and Season 5 we were told Mr. Choi was resuming control of the show. So. In Choi, yeah, so he was apparently coming back to rerun the show. Tweet th Fourth tweet. Under Mr. Choi's leadership, Season 5 restored many of the core values of the original show and most offensive jokes were removed. Uh, probably at most, uh, probably of the offensive jokes against, uh, Asians uh, and uh, you know that's not you're not that that's not cool. And uh, she 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 said to give you an idea of what what you're talking about. Here's one scene from the original season season five drafted under Mr. White's leadership. So so tweet five. Uh, so uh, in the script apparently. Pastor Nina comes to the story to pick up Mrs. Mrs. Kim for a Zumba class. Mrs. Kim is wearing nude uh, shorts, uh, and Pastor Nina is uh, too embarrassed to t tell her she looks like naked from the waist down. Mr. Kim uh, enters, and the joke is that if you're married, you can say anything. And uh, 26. No, no one, especially Mrs. Kim, would be unworn in a, a garment. Makes her look naked unless she's suddenly cognitively impaired or stupid. Stripping someone naked in the first act of uh, becoming public humiliation or rape. Uh, what the what was the so funny about that? At my request, Mr. Choi cut cut this cut the scene and. Uh, Seven tweet the uh, that scene would have been aired hours uh, after eight people, six Asian women were shot in La Atlanta, Georgia, and a hate crime screen that was shocked the nation. This is why it matters. If an Asian actor says, "Hey, this isn't cool," then maybe you you, you shouldn't just uh, fix it and say thank you. Seven seven eight tweet, and I'm sick of holding leaning back that the uh, Koreans are hardly get at MS. Zero point one then out of hundred thousand uh, or uh, one in a million, you are five times uh, more likely to get a blood clot from the, the AstraZeneca vaccine than uh, you you get from the MS from if you're Korean. The producers, but why does it matter then? And and just and Gene doesn't understand comedy. So ninth tweet, and hey, if I hadn't spoken about the Korean food uh, in the show, would have been wrong. In doesn't know how to cook or things are cooked. No one, uh, no one else in the writers room were Korean, and they were no, there were no Korean culture resources in the writers rooms at all. So, yeah, if it's a uh, yeah, Kim's convenience that. Uh, then you probably should like probably like know like uh, like study like uh, what kind of food the Korean eat Koreans eat, or you're just playing a bl blithering idiot.
So Tenth tweet, uh, what I find tragic about the situation with the refusal to believe the urgency with uh, which we advocated for inclusion in the writer's room, uh, the failure to send us treatments, outlines, and resistance to cultural corrections and feedback. There's no so much uh, I'm proud of, but and uh, 11th tweet, season three and season four in particular, there had many moments of dismal and disrespect as an actor where it mattered and with the writers and in, and the more uh, successfully I've advocated for the character and more resistance and suspicion I learned from the writers and producers. So 12th tweet, uh, in the final be bedroom scene in season five, Mrs. Kim weeps up uh, because she believes that God has abandoned her. The more she prays for something, the more certain that it will get worse. Uh, that's what it felt like. The love died. And I'm trying, and I'm going to read this in Korean. Uh, 사랑이 없으면, 수명이 없으면, 아무것도 것도 있습니다. Hmm. So if in the Choi, uh, if even though you know, they were there, uh, like and uh, change things up and uh, <laughs> so it's such a good news that that uh, in the Choi, uh, finally the big man uh, who uh, originally started that uh, wrote the play. Is that in charge of uh, the show? And there should have been uh, no uh, racist uh, stuff. Uh, in, uh, cause if it's like a show about like a, a Korean, uh, like Koreans are running a convenience, uh, yeah, and uh, like the play, uh, original play, and uh, yeah, that. And uh, saying uh, Koreans uh, hardly get MS. So I'm Korean. And uh, if someone ever said that to me, I would punch them in the face and stick a chopstick right up their ass. And of course, uh, yeah, Jin Yoon, she is uh, also correct about the food, uh, yeah. I can tell now uh, what's uh, Korean food and what's not Korean food, uh, I can, uh, yeah. So if you told, if you like, if you, they literally got a professional chef from uh, South Korea over, and uh, and see, uh, saw what the food was on that show. Uh, yeah, they would curse. Yeah, they would they would say something like this: "이 멍청이들이 이 한국 음식들 먹는지 뭐냐? 그게 뭐라고? Yeah." And it was a uh, curse every day in every single Korean uh, swear word. Yep. So I don't I don't care if it's like a comedy uh, if it's like racist jokes uh, 
So, racist jokes are uh, not jokes. They are cons actually, they're racist. Uh, and, and um, which kind of reminds me of like a little something that happened in France. Uh, And also, uh, there's a, uh, the people uh, also joke about, oh, uh, Chinese people, oh, they joke about, like, oh, they joke about, Korea. oh, what part of Korea are you from? And, and uh, yeah, to us Koreans uh, outside uh, South Korea, and uh, it's, it, you know, I hate having to deal with that, but it's, you know, I just want to hit him, hit him with the frying pan, frying pan. And it, uh, I agree with uh, Jin Yoon uh, that uh, that the uh, the production crew uh, refused to believe the urgency, which uh, for uh, inclusion and also uh, the food uh, and uh, and it, it's not just like the you know Asian uh, Korean men men uh, owning uh, Korean. Uh, Convenience stores, uh, I mean, like, yeah. So, uh, someone now uh, commented that. Uh, uh, that uh, season one was good, and then it became a terrible, terrible representative of Korean family. Yeah, if you don't know what like, a Korean family is like, uh, then ask a Korean family yourself. So. The Kim's convenience the, the show is a uh, complete bullshit bullshit and uh, yeah it is a complete insult to every single uh, Korean uh, cast member of that show uh, and I feel sorry for every single uh, uh, Korean Korean and other Asian uh, cast the member the, of that uh, and I hope uh, in the in the Mr. Choi can can make the show better and make it a better comeback than uh, than the household that it is right now I'm saying Tim, I am a son of a Korean uh, convenience, uh, or convenience store owner, and I have watched the play myself. It's hard. When I say it's hard, it's hard. I know. Don't say it's not. You know, I'm, and as uh, some, uh, Korean owned uh, convenience, convenience stores that uh, they have uh, gone up uh, now they quit or like bankrupt uh, and uh, they quit or yeah it's not easy So it's just tiring uh, if uh, you know people make fun about Asians uh, for any reason uh, and uh, act like and of course uh, they they're like oh yeah you guys <laughs> like some people uh, don't uh, still are, are celebrating uh, holiday our holiday holidays like it's yours but it's not and I'll still making jokes uh, looking at us by lower class 
and of course endorsing our Asian culture, but not the but like a, a Korean uh, guitarist and uh, producer uh, Davin Davin Lee, Lee uh, mentioned uh, he like yeah people endorse our Asian culture, but not the people. I tell you, it's rude. I don't like the I don't like the stuff you know, stuff that like just slant I don't like the slant. So if you know an Asian uh so uh please uh you know respect uh, you know, Asian uh, culture the uh, and uh please do not celebrate uh, Asian uh, culture cuz uh, it's not yours uh you know we don't need you uh, need to like you were not born uh, in uh or you are not a uh, not born in an Asian uh, country or or of Asian descent, uh, so if you're not, yeah, it doesn't affect you. So, uh, so if you see an Asian uh, person uh, being uh, picked on, uh, joked on, uh, and also like rage targeted, or maybe like trying to, like that someone is trying to kill them or uh, assault them verbally, physically, or any form of way in on social media, step in, report it to the Help, help the Asian person, uh, report the police and report it to the, like, uh, in the USA, uh, report it to the, the, Asian American, uh, Pacific Islanders, uh, they're the most uh, reliable ones, uh, and, uh, Asian American Foundation, uh, and, uh, follow, uh, Next Shark, uh, it, uh, 100%, uh, Asian uh, news uh, source, uh, it's not like a uh, Black Lives Matter supporting uh, or like yeah, they don't sidetrack. It's just hundred percent Asian support and uh, and uh, run by uh, Benny Luo, Asian American. He's part of the AAPI. You can follow him uh, on the website, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. You can follow Davin Lee, uh, you know, he makes excellent music, uh, he's like, uh, you know, he uh, worked with uh, people like, like, uh, Galenium, uh, Seven Lions, uh, Slander, uh, and, uh, John Bellion, uh, Lokita, Nurko, uh, and many more, and uh, yeah, you yeah, there. For all social media posts, uh, supporting agent, uh, use uh, stop Asian hate. Uh, so even though uh, Asian, uh, Asian, uh, oh, the support up month that, uh, yeah, the Asian month was uh, over in the uh, last month, and uh, May, uh, Show your support for Asian uh, and also uh, there's the other hashtag uh, hate is a virus because yeah that also to mention uh, some people are like hating on uh, Asian uh, because just because we are Asian we diff we're like different and they just yeah they think we don't belong here um, you know those racist uh, xenophobics So uh, if you, sh you know, I'll be that thankful if you show your support uh, to the Asian community, and if you are, if you actually don't know Asian culture but you think you know Asian culture, don't even bother. Ask an Asian, ask an Asian person yourself, uh, and uh, actually study it instead of uh, being a uh, fake uh, and like like that. Uh, People who are getting it wrong at the Kim's Convenience uh, Netflix show. Uh. When people don't uh, understand, uh,
Hangul uh, culture or uh, their the Hangul language and yeah, <laughs> or uh, or the heritage or uh, culture. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just disrespectful and it's just uh, frustrating.